Hi, it's Kate here with Marvelous Videos. Today we look at the 13 most anticipated 2022 anime that will rock our world. Hey everyone and welcome back to another exciting video with Marvelous Videos. We are back with excellent news for all anime fans, so gather around for some major hype. The pandemic created a lot of difficulties because of which a lot of anime series and movies were put on hold at the time. Now, as the world is slowly starting to recover, things are taking their normal course with Japan's production industry. It has so much in store for all anime buffs. With the 2021 anime season just wrapping up, there is a huge lineup of anime for 2022, and it's definitely going to be a tightly packed anime year for everyone. Some of the industry's largest studios are up to bat, with MAPPA dominating the schedule. A lot of new and promising anime series are in store for us, like Chainsaw Man, along with the continuing anime seasons for some of the most awaited series, like Attack on Titan, The Final Season Part 2, Made in Abyss, Season 2, and a lot more. And that's not all. With an interesting change of pace, we can also expect to see some new anime movies in the middle of all of this excitement, like Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, Dragon Ball Super Superhero, and many more. Well, who doesn't enjoy a good anime? That being said, let us take a look at these 13 most anticipated 2022 anime, some new and some returning that we are looking forward to. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Chainsaw Man, an upcoming new anime from the Japanese manga series illustrated by Tatsuki Fujimoto is Chainsaw Man. The buzz has been insane with the excitement of soon being able to watch this series on our screens. The trailer has made the wait worth it for this adaptation. So the story is basically set in a world where devils are born out of human fears, and humans can create contracts with them to use their power. There are individuals who specialize in hunting and employing them, known as Devil Hunters. It's about a young man, Denji, who has a lot of debt to pay off thanks to his dead father. To pay off that debt, he works for the Yakuza as a Devil Hunter, along with a canine devil dog, Pochita. And this dog is the Chainsaw Devil. Now Denji is betrayed by the Yakuza and killed by the zombie devil. So in order to save Denji, Pochita makes a contract with him and merges with his body. Well now, what do you think would happen? Denji is reborn as some kind of a human devil hybrid. He is now a chainsaw man, and obviously he can transform any part of his body into a chainsaw. There's a lot happening at this point. Denji is recruited by official devil hunters who will do any favors for him, but they want something in exchange. They want him to kill the gun devil, the mastermind of the greatest massacre in human history. This anime is sure to take us on a crazy journey all about the battles Chainsaw Man is gonna have. As far as the manga goes, we have 97 chapters across 11 volumes in part 1 of its manga series that includes 8 arcs so far. Now, we don't know how much of the manga is going to be covered in the adaptation, but through the trailer it does look like MAPPA plans to do an excellent job with this show. Ryu Nakayama will be directing the anime adaptation at MAPPA and Hiroshi Seko is writing the scripts. We don't have a release date as of yet, but make sure to keep an eye out for this gory and blood-drenched anime in 2022. Cyberpunk Edgerunners. Next on the list, we have another new anime releasing in 2022 called Cyberpunk Edgerunners. You know that feeling when sometimes you want to play a video game, but you're really lazy so you just want to sit back and watch a video game? Well, for those of you who still don't want to deal with the glitches of Cyberpunk 2077, but still have all the fun watching it, Netflix and CD Projekt Red have got you covered with the adaptation of the same video game. That's right, Cyberpunk Edrunners is based on a video game, and it will take you deep into the world of Edrunners, a type of mercenary outlaws who travel across the city of future. It was first announced in June 2020, and boy have all anime fans been desperately waiting for its release. The production studio for the anime is Studio Trigger, a highly acclaimed Japanese animation studio that you may already know by their works, Kill la Kill and Darling in the Franks. 
In this world, consumed by never-ending conflict. The 10-episode standalone series will tell the story of a street kid struggling to survive in a future city, obsessed with technology and body modification. With everything to lose, he decides to become an edge runner, a mercenary outlaw also known as a cyberpunk in order to stay alive. Well, that does sound different from the video game. So keep the buzz on because it looks like there will be a completely new storyline for the anime. Netflix has also confirmed that edge runners will take place in the same location as the video game, i.e. the Night City. The series has been written by Yoshiki Usa and Masahiko Otsuka both of whom worked on Star Wars Visions and Little Witch Academia. The directing duties have been split between Hiroyuki Imeishi and Hiromi Wakabayashi. It sure will be interesting to watch what this action-packed anime has in store for us. Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 2 there is no denying that every anime fan has been dying to watch the final part of the last season of Attack on Titan. So far, all of us have been very invested in Hajima Asayama's original story, surrounding Eren, Mikasa, and Armin. Above and below, the fourth season of Attack on Titan left us on a huge cliffhanger. After the attack on Liberio, Marley begins its mission by Peak tricking Eren onto a rooftop, and Porco smashes upward through the floor below. With Reiner and the Marley warriors arriving in airships, the Survey Corps is still locked in a cell deep below. Flock, in the meantime, is still following Hanji to Zeke's location. But what they don't know is that the Beast Titan was caught in an insane blast with Levi, and now he is literally resting inside the stomach of a Titan. This left fans with a lot of confusing questions. Readers of the Attack on Titan manga will know exactly what to expect from the last round of episodes. Well, with all the excitement, MAPPA recently dropped a teaser trailer for what is to come in Eren Yeager's story. The teaser trailer begins with Reiner Braun asking Eren all the questions that the non-manga readers are wondering at this point. What are you still fighting for? What's the point? From the looks of this trailer, it seems that the fans will finally get to know what Eren's motive and thinking have been since the start of the fourth season. This trailer also shows that the final battle will probably be insanely exciting, in which Eren and his brother Zeke, the Beast Titan, will be fighting nearly everyone else, both from the main cast and those from the Mali side. Another amazing moment is when Zeke and Eren are possibly enacting the rumbling. In the scene, we see them touching foreheads, so it is possible that they are combining the power of Eren's founding Titan with Zeke's royal blood which will bring about a major disaster that will change the world forever. Coming to us on the 9th of January 2022 with episode 76 called Judgment, airing on Hulu and Crunchyroll, finally Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 2 will hopefully reveal the world's future after the war is over. Is there going to be peace or will there be nothing left standing at all? Jutsun Kaisen Zero. Next, we have an anime movie which is the first feature length movie based on the fan favorite anime Jujutsu Kaisen. The movie has been worked on by Toho Animation and, of course, our all time favorite studio, Mappa. Now, although the movie has already been released in Japan on December 24th, it looks like fans from other parts of the world still have to wait a bit longer for its international release. But don't let that upset you, because it looks like the movie has been received well in Japan, so we know it's not going to disappoint. Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is going to take away the focus from the series protagonist Yuji Itadori, and it will tell the story of Yuta Okotsu. It's based on the manga series written and illustrated by Gegi Akutami. The film Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is actually a prequel to the original anime, so the events in the movie have happened before the anime series. It follows Yuta Akotsu, who is haunted by a special grade curse since the death of a friend in a traffic accident. But the boy had no idea that his beloved friend Rika Oromoto had been manifested as a fierce cursed spirit upon death, and he is now protecting Yuta against his will. Well, the Jujutsu sorcerers soon find out about it and they decide that Yuta has to be executed. <laughs> But the master, sorcerer Satoru Gojo, decides to take him under his wing. He gets admitted to Jujutsu High, where he meets some of his classmates, whom we already know from the series, like Maki Zenin, Toge Inumaki, and Panda. 
it's definitely about to get exciting. Yuta's main goal is to learn to control Rika so that he can help others. Well, that's easy for him to say. Of course, he soon finds out just how dark and difficult the jujitsu world is, even more than he'd imagined. So we know you all can't wait to find out if he will be able to protect everyone he cares about with these powers that scare him. There's no official international release date yet, but we do know that the wait won't be long, because we get to see it in summer 2022. So let's keep that excitement running. Dragon Ball Super Superhero Ever since the release of Dragon Ball Super Broly, fans have been waiting to see what is going to be the Dragon Ball Super anime's next big thing. Well, Toei Animation did answer the fans earlier this year when they announced a new movie, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. During the Jump Festa 2022, they released a full trailer. This is going to be the 21st Dragon Ball movie and the second Dragon Ball Super movie. So let us take a look at what the movie is going to be about. The Red Ribbon Army, an evil organization that Goku once destroyed, has been succeeded by a group of people who have created the most powerful androids ever, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. And guess what? They might be the villains because these new androids see themselves as some kind of superheroes and attack Piccolo, Gohan and the others. With the original series author Akira Toriyama giving the original concept, script, as well as drawing the character designs, it's going to be a must watch. Now that we know that the movie has all the superhero vibes we've been waiting for, guess who else was a superhero? Gohan's alter ego known to us as the Great Seal Man. Is he going to return to his roots and what exactly is the new Red Ribbon Army's true mission? And how is Gohan planning on handling this? Well, there's only one way to find out. Sit tight and keep an eye out for the movie that releases on the 22nd of April 2022 in Japan. Uzumaki If it's not horror, then where is the fun, right? Uzumaki is the Japanese anime adaptation of the manga series of the same name. It literally translates to spiral in English, so it definitely has something to do with the spiral. The famous Japanese author Junji Ito wrote and illustrated the manga series. It's as dark as it gets and a total supernatural and horror themed manga that ran from August 1998 to September 1999 in the weekly magazine Big Comic Spirits. It's divided into three volumes. And guess what? Uzumaki was first adapted as a film back in 2000. Even that was quite a success. Now we finally have it as an anime TV series, for which the fans have been waiting since 2020, because the release of Uzumaki got delayed due to the worldwide pandemic. Well, good things take time. Uzumaki is about two friends, Kiri and Suichi, who live in the small Japanese town of Karuzucho. They notice one day that Suichi's father, Toshio, has developed a strange obsession with snails. He would take videos of them and collect any object with a spiral pattern similar to snail shells on them. Then, Kiri also begins to see similar spirals everywhere, which is obviously scary. When this curiosity turns into tragedies, things will become even weirder. Suichi is terrified and wants to leave Tokyo, but Kiri is absolutely convinced about staying and looking into the matter. Something new about this anime is that it's going to be a black and white miniseries, so it stays as true to the manga as it can. Hiroshi Nagahama, in collaboration with the cable network Adult Swim, will bring this brand new take on the manga series to life. The music will be composed by Colin Stetson. There will be four episodes in the miniseries and it's set for release in October 2022. Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Tita Kubo's Bleach manga serialization ended in 2016, but the anime ended in 2014 with the lost substitute Shinigami arc. The anime that we have all loved for so many years lacked a proper conclusion. Well, not to make the fans wait any longer, Bleach will now be returning with the Thousand Year Blood War arc, which will pick up the anime from where it left off and tell the rest of the story until the original manga's ending. That definitely is some excellent news this year. The story ties many loose ends from the anime up to this point, but it also opens a whole can of worms. The disappearance of several Rokongai members begins to be noticed in Soul Society. 
especially since many hollows are now being eliminated in the living world at the same time. While assisting Karakura's current Shinigami, Ichigo encounters Eburn as Giero, an Arankar who flees after trying to steal his Bankai. In the meantime, Yamamoto learns from the group of Quincy, five masked men from Wandenreich, that the Soul Society will be destroyed in five days. Okay, so it looks like we can expect a lot of good battles ahead in this series. Bleach Thousand Year Blood War will be on our screens in October 2022. Studio Piero, which animated the original anime series, will handle production. It will be directed by Tomohisa Toguchi, with character designs by returning artist Masashi Kudo. Spriggan. Spriggan. A new Netflix original, Spriggan is based on Hiroshi Takashige's manga of the same name, which ran from 1989 to 1996 and was drawn by Ryoji Minagawa. It took the 90s by storm with the sale of over 10 million copies. The story of Spriggan revolves around the adventures of Yu Omine, a high school student who also works for the Arkham Corporation as a special agent. As a Spriggan, he helps the organization in protecting ancient relics. So the word Spriggan comes from Cornish fairy tales in which a creature of the same name supposedly guards treasure in ancient ruins and barrows. <laughs> There was once a great civilization that existed on Earth, with its incredible knowledge and scientific ability. Now, armies of great nations are trying to uncover the artifacts and secrets of this civilization because of their power. A member of this ancient civilization carved into a plate protect our legacy from evildoers. So it looks like the Arkham organization might be doing more than just protecting ancient relics. Netflix has been a huge success for anime fans because there is always so much to watch, and this new edition is definitely going to be a huge hit. The plot sounds super great so far. If you are a veteran anime fan, you'll remember that Spriggan had once come to life, long back in 1998 as an anime movie. Now, as a Netflix original anime series, it will be released sometime in 2022. Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury When it comes to mecha anime, one of the earliest popular anime franchises comes to mind, and it's none other than Mobile Suit Gundam. For those of you who might not know, the first Gundam series began over 40 years ago. That's right, it's been a long-standing anime. Every few years, the franchise introduces a brand new series. This time, it's coming to us with something more interesting. Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury. And ever since the release of Gundam, Iron-Blooded Orphans back in 2015, this will be the newest mainline story of the Gundam series. We don't have a lot of official information about the plot details of this series, but with the name, it looks like Gundam might feature their first female main character. So everything about The Witch from Mercury is a kind of mystery for the fans so far, but they are probably going to be attracting a younger audience this time. Bandai Namco Group will be collaborating with external G-Partner members on the series. Expect to find it on your screens sometime in 2022. Tokyo 24th Ward A new story and a new anime with all of its mystery is being presented to us by Cloverworks titled Tokyo 24th Ward, and boy does it sound interesting. The anime is set on an artificial island in Tokyo Bay called Far Eastern Special District Outside the Law, which is nicknamed as the 24th Ward. The manga follows the story of Ran, Koki, and Shuta, three childhood friends who were born and raised on the island. But even so, their relationships will have a major change due to a specific incident. One year after the incident, the three happen to meet again at a memorial ceremony, and all of their phones begin to ring at the same time. The phone call is from an old friend who, according to them, was dead, and now he's asking them to choose the future. All three of them will have their own way of doing things in order to protect the future of the people of the 24th Ward. It definitely sounds promising. It has a lot more twists because the three protagonists have nothing in common. Their lifestyles and habits are polar opposites, so there's clearly a power struggle when they have to work together but their love for their community is what unites them together. Of course, if they want to protect the neighborhood from extraordinary disasters, they must group together and learn to cooperate. 
With Nokatsu Tsuda's direction and Vio Shimakura on the scripts, the anime Tokyo 24th Ward will release on January the 5th, 2022, with a one hour special first episode. Boku no Hero Academia. My Hero Academia Season 6. What's better than knowing that your favourite anime is coming up with a new season very soon? During this year's Jump Festa 2022 event, it was announced that the sixth season of the incredibly popular anime My Hero Academia will release in 2022. In a world of people with quirks where superheroes fight against supervillains, the last season ended with a war brewing. The students have discovered their powers to great lengths. Midoriya now knows what to expect with his one for all, since he has inherited all the quirks of the previous uses. Now he has to control his powers if he wants to protect his team. The pro hero Hawk is still undercover at the League of Villains and he realises what great threats they are going to face. The celebrations of UA Class A come to an end when all of them receive a text message, being called for a joint operation. And it looks like Azuku Midoriya might have sensed just how much their lives are going to change. From the looks of the teaser trailer for the sixth season, it's surely going to adapt the paranormal liberation war arc of the manga. Now that is the action and war that we've all been waiting for. The story is heading towards a darker tone and the manga readers know exactly what to expect, because the anime follows the manga very closely. The teaser trailer for season 6 is only about 37 seconds long, but it packs a lot into a short amount of time. The trailer begins with Izuku Midoriya running through a forest due to the insane battle between the heroes and the paranormal liberation front, which is being led by Shigaraki Tamura. The war will be the ultimate all-out war, in which the fate of Japan will be decided. If the heroes fail, it could mean the end of Japan as they know it, indicating that the war has the potential to spiral out of control. We will also get to see what Midoriya is going to do about his new quirks that he's inherited from the previous users of One for All. It's going to be a hell of a watch. Season 6 of My Hero Academia will premiere in the fall of 2022, so buckle up and get excited. Mob Psycho 100 Season 3 one of the most popular anime series, Mob Psycho 100, has so far given us two beautifully amazing seasons. That is when they left their fans wondering if there will ever be a season 3. It's been two years since the last season. Well, as it turns out, we don't have to wait for too long, because in this new year, there is definitely going to be a season 3. Mob Psycho 100 was brought to us as a manga series written and illustrated by author One, also the creator of One Punch Man. The anime TV series adaptation was produced by Bones, and the first season aired long back in 2016. Ever since then, it has been one of the most loved anime by the fans. Mob Psycho 100 explores the story of Shigio Kagiyama, a typical middle school boy who is also known as Mob. Well, he's not actually all that typical since he's a powerful esper with incredible psychic power. To avoid losing control of this power, he lives his life by keeping his emotions in check. Mob works as an assistant to conman Raigen Arataka, a self-proclaimed psychic in order to learn how to control his abilities. But even this conman has his own agenda with Mob. He wants to live a normal life like other people around him, but threats keep following him wherever he goes. His suppressed emotions gradually start growing inside him and he's almost losing control. Mob's powers are going to exceed its limits as he finally encounters other espers like the Claws. <laughs> After the second season of the series ended in 2019, it's finally going to come back with a new season, which will most likely be the last one. This season will also be animated by Bones, the same studio as the first two. Season 2 ended with Mob facing off the Claws, an organization of powerful psychics dedicated to world conquest. Mob's powers reach 100% in an attempt to save Raigen from Twitchiro. The unleashing of Mob's powers has also resulted in the growth of a piece of broccoli into a massive tree. And guess what? This tree will play a major role in Season 3. Looks like we are in for some more fun to find out what else happens with Mob and what this divine tree has got to do with it. We don't have an official date yet, but be sure to hear about its release in Summer 2022. Made in 
Abyss Season 2. The anime, which is based on the manga of the same name by Akihito Sakushi, aired its 13 episode first season in 2017, and ever since then it has kept fans waiting for a second season. Well, don't worry, because we come with good news. They have finally confirmed a new season. The official title for the second season is Made in Abyss, The Golden City of the Scorching Sun. We have also had two compilation films for the anime, Journey's Dawn and Wandering Twilight. And to not disappoint the fans, they also gave us a sequel movie called Dawn of the Deep Soul, which covered around 12 chapters from the original manga. The plot revolves around Riko, an orphan girl from the town of Ulf. In the center of this town is a mysterious giant hole known as the Abyss. People go into the Abyss in search of artifacts and relics of past civilizations. These people are known as Delvers. Riko wants to become a legendary cave raider, also known as White Whistle, just like her mother. One day, she discovers a robot boy in the Abyss and names him Rhett. The Abyss has a lot of untold treasures and extraordinary creatures, but of course, the journey is not without any danger. Riko and her robot boy Red go deep into the cave system together in order to find answers. She also thinks that her mother might be at the bottom of the Abyss. To keep fans even more excited, we did get a trailer for season two. The trailer begins with the group looking for an island in the middle of the sea. They eventually find the island and the teaser then shows them exploring the new area. We get to see some newcomers, Balaf and Vuko, and it looks like they're in the middle of a conversation. Near the end of the trailer, we get a glimpse of the pewter, and the video comes to an end with Rico and Red relaxing. Well, the sequel movie ending sure leaves us with a lot of mysteries that are yet to be unraveled. What are the secret origins of Red, and will Rico find anything or anybody else inside the Abyss? There is a lot more to explore in the new upcoming season of Made in Abyss. On the direction, we will once again have Masayuko Kojima. We can't give you a release date yet, but we do know that it will release sometime in 2022. With all the excitement that 2022 is bringing in the anime world, we're aware of how much you've been waiting for all of this good news. It's definitely going to be a year packed with some horror, action, thriller, and adventurous anime TV series as well as movies. So pull up your socks and get ready for all the action. We hope you like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more such content. Until then, have a great day.